Okay, so now that we've covered our probability mass function and our cumulative distribution function, uh, we can start talking about some more questions and we can uh, actually add some more onto here. So let's go ahead and, uh, and work on trying to figure out if we were to play with this dice over and over again, how many or what number would we expect to come out of this value? Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So if we write this down, this is going to be the member of the support multiplied by its associated probability. And we go down and do this for every row. So zero times a half is zero. We've got one times one sixth is still one sixth. We've got two times one sixth is two sixths. And we've got three times one sixth is equal to 3 divided by 6. Okay, so what we can do now is we want to take actually the sum of x times the probability of discrete random variable equaling x. And if we sum all these together, we've got 1 6 plus 2 6 is 3 6. 3 6 plus 3 6 is equal to 1. Now, just because like this one popped up, not all of your expected values are going to pop up to be one. But with this particular dice, it is. The, your expected value is to, have, is to roll a one. So we can also write this as the expected value of our random variable. And for us, this is, this is basically equal to mu or our average. So this is how we are able to figure out our expected value. Okay. And along with mu, a lot of times we also want to know what our variance is. And there's uh, another thing that, that we can do to do this. We need to write up one more column. Okay, so what we need here now is we need the individual member of our support minus our expected value, mu, multiplied by our probability of the discrete random variable equaling a member of the support. Oh, and this needs to be squared. We need to square that. Okay, so let's give this a shot. So our first one we're going to do is then going to be zero minus one times uh, squared times 0.5. That would equal 0.5. Our next one down would be 1 minus 1 uh, squared, sorry, keep forgetting that squared, multiplied by 1 divided by 6. Well, 1 minus 1 is equal to 0, so we can just shortcut that guy. Then our next one is 2 minus 1 squared multiplied by 1 6, which 2 minus 1 is 1 squared. It's still 1 times 1 6 is equal to 1 6. And then last one, we've got 3 minus 1 squared multiplied by uh, still 1 sixth. And that guy is equal to, okay, give me a second. So 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 squared is 4. So we've got 4 sixths. And we're going to add all of these guys together. So now for, this is for the variance, you'll see it like, the variance of x is equal to, we're going to put the sum of all of this mess, x minus mu squared, multiplied by the probability of the discrete random variable equaling a member of the support. And so we'll add this together. So 0 0.5, I'm going to erase that out and put it in terms of 6 because it's going to help me out. So we've got 3 divided by 6. Okay, so what do we have together? We have 3 sixths, 4 sixths, 8 sixths. So this is going to equal 8 divided by 6, which is equal to 1 and 2 thirds is equal to our variance. And if we wanted the standard deviation, we would just need to take the square root of this value. Now, if you have a lot of possible outcomes, like let's say you're, right, you're rolling you know, some big dice, like a 20-sided dice or something, like doing this by hand starts getting ridiculous. 
Uh, and so in the future videos, I'm just going to show you how to do it uh, in Excel. And you can do it in Excel from here on out.